everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back. As always, I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Deluxe as always. And I uh, got a Transformer review today. I know. I know. Stop the presses. I understand. I don't do enough Transformer reviews. I know I'm probably doing more stuff than, you know, that I should be. But, you know, I, I, I need to do more Transformer reviews. I know. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Anyways, big shout out to my boy, uh, Brother Kyle. But before that, go down and hit me with some like, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and hit that little sub button. It helps the channel out. Hit that little bell. It notifies you things. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. It's all in the description. Easy peasy. But like I said, I have a transform review. And once again, another big shout out to Brother Kyle because he didn't really have to do this. Um, we're on a, a podcast called Back and Forth. Um, I just started on it. Uh, we're on episode 30 so far. Really good, fun times. A really good podcast. Check us out. We're on the Blackout and Shout channel. A really good, also another wonderful podcast. Shout out to those guys and everything. But yeah, I'm on a, a podcast with Brother Kyle, Jed, and uh, Tyler G from uh, Stasis Lock also and everything. So he's a Beast Wars, Tyler G, whatever. And uh, but I wanted to give a you know a big shout out to those guys because uh, I just started on their podcast a couple of, uh, weeks ago and I'm having a wonderful time. But anyways, brother Kyle will hit me up. He knows I'm a big Star Screen fan, and he's a Star Screen fan too. And he was moving, and he's like, you know, hey, do you have the Robot Masters uh, Star Screen? I was like, yeah, I got that one. He's like, well, hey, I have the Thundercracker and Skywarp. I don't want any more. You can have it. Just give me send me your address. I was like, man, that's really nice, dude. So like I said, you didn't have to do that, but he sent me the uh, the Robot Masters. And he sent me a pin also. I don't know if this came with the uh, Robot Masters or not, but thank you. I'm going to, you know, use this. I'm going to put it somewhere. It's really cool. So once again, thank you so much. A um, little something about the Robot Masters. They were a line over in Takara, uh, the mid-2000s, mid 2004, 2005. Um, they did a lot of, you know, they did Prime. Uh, they got the Seekers. You know, this was a two-pack. I think this was the last wave, actually, to be released. I think it was on, on 2005, Wave 9, I think, maybe, give or take. Uh, but yeah, they, they were the last wave and they was a two pack of, uh, you know, of exclusive or whatever. It wasn't exclusive, but a two pack of uh, uh, Thundercracker and Skywarp. Golly, man, I'm just, uh. so, but anyways, uh, yeah, so these are kind of like, um, they're kind of like G1. They transform like the G1 counterparts, uh, but they have a couple, a little more articulation than what a G1s. I think their legs move freely instead of just, you know, stationary and everything. So, but you know, it's cool. And I, I'm really appreciate these, man. They're really cool. I, I don't have, only ones I have, I have Starscream. Uh, there's a limited edition black version uh, that was, uh, you know, like it says limited and everything. Um, but I want to get that one, but it's kind of pricey. I think it's like over a hundred dollars. I was like, oh, gee, but it's for a robot master. But anyways, here is Skywarp. I'm just rambling. <laughs> nice G1 jet. It's got the Orange cat pet. It's got the nice Decepticon temple stickers right here on the wings and up there on the nose cone. It's got purple nose cone, nose cone, and all that good stuff. The purple and black, and it's got the silver and purple for the stripes. Very nice. It does have a uh, landing gear right here. You just push that up if you want to. He does have some chrome bits right there on the uh, missile boobies right there. And I'll show you that they open up too, and everything it shows the missiles. Uh, there's a uh, went uh, wheels on the back there also very nice so yeah just a basically a small g1 like a kind of a chug he's a chug size i would say probably deluxe scale and then you got thundercracker same thing the orange cockpit and you got the uh, decepticon symbols very nice got the red white and blue america as always very nice and he's got a landing gear also you just push that up he's got some chrome boobies also and he does got the you know the their weapons, their uh, phase guns, whatever, and everything. So very nice, all that good stuff. Null rays. Sorry, I don't know. Do they call them null? I know they call them null rays for uh, Starscream. Do they also call them for null rays for them too? I think they did. But anyways, here is Thundercracker and Skywarp. Very nice. All right. Next up, Crapagonics. Bottle of water. And toilet paper. All right, we'll take a look at Skywarp, and I'll just go over his articulation real quick. And uh, it's the same for Thundercracker. Then I'll show you Thundercracker. So once again, Transformers just like the G1 almost exactly. So, but 
he does have a little more articulation. So nice, uh, nice head sculpt. It's got the uh, <clears throat> kind of a white face out there, and it's got the red eyes in there. I don't know if that is that light piping. That might be paint also. Yeah, I think that's paint. So it's got some paint on there and a the head sculpt and everything. So you can get a little up, and you can get a little down. Not much and everything, but you can get a side to side and everything. That's pretty cool and everything. Uh, for the arms, you can go. All the way, uh, you can't go all the way around, you have to get around these uh, wings, but you can go all the way up, you know, like that. That's pretty cool. He does have a, um, a bicep swivel, so yeah, that's nice. And he's got a 90 degree, uh, more than 90 degree for uh, the elbow bend, very nice. And uh, the hands can move a little up and, you know, up just because of transformation and everything. And you can, you have the, you know, the blasters, his uh, null rays right there, but there's a hole right there on this forearm also if you want to put it right there you can do that too that's pretty cool moving on down um, I forgot to tell you the cockpit can open in uh, jet mode I didn't tell you, I didn't mention that I'm sorry about that but yeah it does open and you got these uh, chrome bits like I said so you can open these up Let's see if I can try to open them up they do come out if you don't want them on there you can take them out if you want to see you can take them off if you want to but open these up and it shows the missile pods and everything so pretty cool nice little chrome feature and everything move on down no waist swivel uh, you can get um, up to there you can kick up you know G1 didn't do that you can get a little bit out not much and you can if you maneuver it around the wing you can get back also everything you get a thigh swivel also for that, uh, no knee bend, and then you got the uh, toes that will go up just for transformation and everything. So, you know, but you know, like I said, it's G1, but you know, some nice uh, articulation for a, you know, for a brick. But here's Sky Warp once again in the back. Pretty cool. And I'll just show you Thundercracker. Same movements, all that good stuff, and uh, same with the Chrome also. And he's got some nice paint and red eyes. Looks like silver face on there. All that stuff. And it got the paint and everything you've seen, all that stuff. He's got some red around his uh, abdomen and silver. So very nice. So there is paint or something in the nose cone right there. So I think maybe there was some uh, work done to this one. Because you can tell the lines are kind of darker and everything. So they might have tried to fill those in, but pretty cool. And then you got the black for the shin guards, and you had a uh, purple paint and everything. So yeah, here is Sky Warp and Thundercracker from the Robot Masters line. All right, there they are in uh, alt mode. And there's Starscream with them. It just feels cool to feel, you know finish a little set like that, like you know the Insecticons or the Seekers or you know, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And there they are in robot mode. All right, there they are next to their G1 counterparts all right there are some legends from the third party and you got the deluxes from uh, you know chug and everything Hasbro Crapagonics, water bottle, toilet paper, and squeaks. No. All right, final thoughts on these guys. They're pretty cool. I mean, they're, you know, they're fine. You know, they're older, you know, they're updated G1 kind of Legends Plus kind of thing going on. I think these would go with the McFans toys. They might go with those. 
who knows? Uh, but you know, unless you're a big Skywarp or Thundercracker fan, I, I don't know if you want, really want to you know go out and seek these out. They're, you know, they might be a little pricey on the you know secondary market. I don't know for sure. Uh, you know, the limited edition Starscream I want, it's a hundred. You know, it's over a hundred dollars. So I don't know what the two pack goes for this on eBay or anything like that. But you know, if you like this kind of thing, you know, sure get it. You know, it's got some nice paint. Articulation's decent. You know, for a little you know thing like this and everything. Uh, transformation's really easy. It's just like G1, you know, and everything. Engineering's pretty good, you know, being a, you know, over a 15 year old uh, kind of a bot and everything almost. So, yeah, you know, if you're a big Skywarp or Thundercracker fan, yeah, I think you're, you're going to get this because with Starscream, I get everything, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But, you know, if you're not, eh, I'll probably pass on these little things. So, anyways, all right, I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. I want you to join me, be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, if you watch my channel, everybody knows that I'm a big Starscream fan. So, are there any big, you know, Thundercracker or Skyboard fans out there that, you know, that collect everything? Like, I, for Starscream, I'll try to get everything I can that uh, they've ever made of Starscream and everything. And I, I like the Seekers. I think they're a great little uh, group and everything. Uh, but Starscream is one of my favorites. Man, that's pretty cool. I forgot to tell you the wing moves back and forth, too. But, uh, yeah, I mean, would y'all buy stuff like this, like the Robo Masters? Is anybody a big Robot Masters collector? You know, there's not a ton of them. I say there's probably, well, there's probably, there's probably around 30 to 50 of them, give or take. I'd have to look at the, at the list again, but, you know, the, they were mainly, uh, you got one mold, and I think you always got to repaint out of, of, out of one and everything. Uh, they got some Beast Wars and stuff in there, all that good stuff. That's pretty cool. But yeah. Hit me up if you're a big uh, Sky Warper. Thundercracker fan and do you buy everything you know of that character that you try to possibly get like I got tons of Starscream stuff man I need to do a video on all the Starscreams I an updated video I did one and uh, I need to do an updated version everything ain't that right chicken pew, 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 pew. all right well weapons I wish the weapons stayed in a little better but overall pretty cool I like these little things not bad all right, well, I hope you like that review. Go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments, too. Tell me what you think of this, you know, if you want me to go back and do some of these weird kind of transformers. Uh, someone requested that I do the TFC Voltron, Phototron, Fol whatever. It's their uh, reflector, reflector, reflector. Jeebus, can't even say it. But yeah, I'm going to try to, uh, I got to find some parts and everything. I, I put some stuff in the box and everything, but... Yeah, I plan on doing that review because it's an old one. It's an oldie but goodie third party. So yeah, go ahead and hit me up with some uh, comments on that good stuff. I like to hear from y'all and everything. I try to reply as much as I can. And um, I guess I'll see you on the next Robot Masters review. Oh, and another big shout out to Brother Kyle. Thank you so much. I really love these things, man. Uh, I will put them up in my shelf and they will, you know, add to my collection. My wonderful collection, man. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And, uh, uh, yeah, as always, hail Hasbro, and uh, good night, folks. Yeah, I'm a better G1.